Hi, my name is Kayla Robbie, a product review expert and bargain hunter. Today, I'm going to discuss the top five products you are searching for. I have selected these products on my top five list after hours of research, feature reviews, and performance analysis. Let's go and see the top five product reviews now. There's a reason we call the Polar Utility Cart the all-purpose ranch hand. It's the perfect tool for any farm, garden, or home project. Let's get to work. The Polar Utility Cart is built to easily haul everything you need to move in the yard, garden, or on the farm. Perfectly balanced, this ultimate utility tool lets you transport rock, mulch, dirt, firewood, leaves, grass clippings, hunting and camping gear, and so much more. Solid rubber wheels never need inflating. A super tough high impact polyethylene tub never rusts or dents. And sealed ball bearing hubs never need greasing. And the Polar Utility Cart is designed for optimum load balance that make even heavy loads easy to haul and dump by hand. Need to freshen up the mulch, move black dirt, refill some rock, or haul those heavy flower pots? No problem. The Polar Utility Cart is up to the task. Easy to assemble, the utility trailer is backed by a three-year warranty. What I love about my Polar Utility Cart is that it can handle the heaviest of loads without wanting to tip over. It's perfectly balanced. With the 400-pound load capacity, my Polar Utility Cart is ideal for farm, yard, and field work. My Polar Utility Cart has solid, durable rubber tires that never need inflating. Whether on the farm or in the yard, the Polar Utility Cart lets me get my work done fast and easy. Welcome to How To. I am Tanya with Marathon Industries and today I am going to teach you how to put together the Yard Rover wheelbarrow. All you need to put this together is a crescent wrench and a flathead screwdriver. This is your axle and the mainframe and the first thing you're going to do is slide the axle in through both ends and we're going to put the first tire on. So obviously put the valve side out and we're going to slide the tire on now for each side we have a washer stick that on and a cotter pin that's going to hold the whole thing together here okay when you get the cotter pin through you can use your fingers or a screwdriver but you're basically going to split the end of the cotter pin so it does hold it on. So. so we've got both tires on. I wanna point out first, you're gonna get eight bolts. You've got two um, at a longer length, probably about two inches, and you've got six smaller ones. The six smaller ones, we're gonna start with one on each side to get the legs in. So you put that through like that, get the bolt in. Make sure you put the bolt facing in toward the center of the wheelbarrow. You've got, um, the two washers here, put the flat one first. 
can, for the whole entire project, you're just going to finger tighten these at first. You'll go back uh, later with the tools and tighten everything up. Little movie magic here. We've got both, both legs on. We're going to put the back brace on. Oops, I'm going to face this this way. Same thing, bolt goes through, facing in. Going to get your washers on. And again, just tighten with your fingers so that you can uh, put it all together real tight when you're finished. Now it is time for the handle and the tray. You don't have to put the bolts in uh, for this just yet. You're just going to get this steady on there. And it looks like a giant baby bathtub, but it's tray for the wheelbarrow. So um, you're going to line up the front holes first. It's just easier to get those the bolts in here on the front end first. And again, with your washers and the bolt, and slide that through. Get your washers on. So we have attached the tray in the front. We're going to move to the back and get it attached back here. So you just last two bolts, the long one and the shim. Let's make sure that you match the curve of the shim to the curve of the arm. And there's two holes, two holes in there. You're going to use the top hole um, and get that fed through there again with the washers. Okay, we've got everything put together. You want to make sure before you go do any projects, use your tools. Tighten everything up before you move on to your landscaping projects. And that is the Yard Rover. Thank you for watching How To with Marathon Industries. Thanks for watching the video. As I said at the beginning, I'm a bargain hunter and I have found a big discount link for you. Please have a look at the description below and get your special discount link now.